which statement about all noble gases is correct? The number of protons in the atoms equals the number of neutrons. Well, you know, doesn't have to be. Their atoms each have a stable arrangement of electrons. Yeah. That's why they're noble gases. They're inert. They do not react. Why am I putting a cross? Take it. Their atoms each have eight electrons in their outer shell. That's true for everyone except helium, which only has two electrons. They exist as molecules. If they don't react, they won't produce molecules, right? So that's also wrong. A substance Q conducts electricity both when solid and molten. Probably talking about a metal or an alloy. So that word, because this is just a mixture of metals, this will definitely conduct electricity. Hydrocarbons won't conduct electricity at all. This will only conduct electricity as a in molten state because molten state, not molten state, because uh, it's an ionic compound and salts are also ionic, so molten only. So the correct answer is A. The reaction C2H4, well, methane combusting is exothermic because, uh, well, bond I always like to write my equation down first. You guys probably know that. Bonds broken minus bonds formed. So if something is exothermic, this is more larger, right? Is that what it's saying? More bonds are broken than formed. But it's not about quantity, it's about the energies from them. So that's not about more or less. The energy needed to break the bonds, okay, there we go, is greater? No. The energy needed to break the bonds is less than the released on forming new ones. So more needs to be released for it to be exothermic. So D is our correct answer. The diagram shows the electrolysis of aluminum, right? What is the physical state of aluminum oxide and aluminum during the process? They're both liquid because it's molten, right? So, gonna go with liquid, 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 liquid. Answer is A. Alloys are usually harder than metals from which they are made. Which difference between metal explains the greater hardness of alloys? The radii is different because what happens is you know, you have a bigger, when you mix different metals together, they have different radii, right? And when you try to hit them with something, these metals can't move because they are interrupted by the two larger, like they come in the way when this top layer tries to move. So it's essentially the radii, radii that are causing the issue answers. A, and do indubitably, but let's see. Density is why would that matter? <sighs> why would that matter? And why would that matter? Let's move on. The diagram shows the colors of indicators, methyl orange, methyl red, and different values. The table shows the pH of four solutions. In which solution will both indicators be yellow? So for yellow, you have to be between, oops, say 3.5, well, that's not yellow, over here, right? It needs to be 5.5 or higher, the pH. So, yeah, Z only, isn't it? The answer is D. Which polymer has an empirical formula of CH2? Uh, CH, uh, taking a look at A, it, clearly is C2H4, which can be simplified to CH2. Over here you have three carbons and, and six uh, hydrogens, which can be simplified to CH2 again. Over here it's four carbons and five, six, seven, eight hydrogens. That's still that, okay. Six, seven, eight, 
at six car that's eight carbons and five six seven eight equal so that's ch answer answer which of the following is a pure compound <clears throat> ethanol definitely is the formula for that is c2h5oh petrol is actually a mixture of few different hydrocarbons primarily what is it heck octane right octane is one notable but it's a, actually a mixture Steel is an alloy, uh, has carbon in it, right? Uh, tap water is just a solution. So ethanol answer is A. The cover plate is removed from a gas jars shown in the diagram. So we have bromine and oxygen. We've seen this in like our early chapters. Uh, oxygen can easily mix with the bromine because of diffusion. Let's see which is explaining it. Oxygen bromine gases have equal densities. They have, so this experiment shows how even though bromine has much larger density, they'll still mix, right? Extreme densities will obviously allow them to separate like oil and water or, you know, a piece of rock doesn't diffuse, right? Like, so yeah, so extreme differences, but like even if the difference in density is high, they can still diffuse. Case in point, this experiment, case in point, air, air, has carbon dioxide, has oxygen, has nitrogen, even has, um, what else does it have? Argon, right? Different dense uh, MRs, so hence different densities, but they still all mix together. Okay, oxygen and bromine molecules are in random motion. That explains it, that's literally diffusion. Going towards diffusion. Oh, why am I writing D? I guess D for diffusion. Nah, that's, that's the answer. Oxygen and bromine molecules diffuse at the same rate. Rate is probably not true. Rate is probably the heavier gas diffuses, not probably, the heavier gas diffuses slower than the lighter gas. Equal volumes of oxygen and bromine contain equal number of molecules. That's true, but doesn't explain it. Right? So the correct answer is B. What is the ratio of volume of 2 grams of hydrogen to the volume of 16 grams of methane, both volumes at RTP? So we got to compare the moles of this. So CH3 to hydrogen, right? So you, you want to figure out if this is 2 grams and if this is 16 grams, what is their ratio? So divide by the MR, 16 divided by the MR, is coincidentally the same maybe not too much of a coincidence that's one that's one so one mole one mole right so the ratio of their volume is actually the same because the moles are the same both will occupy both of these will occupy 24 decimeter cube 24 decimeter cube Which two reagents could be used to prepare insoluble salts copper carbonate? Now, if you want to produce copper carbonate, it's insoluble. They're letting you know. The easy way to do it is get copper from a salt that is soluble. So you get the copper ion from a salt that is soluble. So essentially copper aqueous. You get the carbon carbonate ion from a salt that is soluble. So how would you know they're soluble? Well, if they're aqueous, they're soluble. So both need to be aqueous and their product they're already telling you is insoluble. See you, see you, see you. The answer is C, very easy. Cholesterol is an organic molecule that occurs in the bloodstream. What type of compound is cholesterol? I wonder. What ends with all? Alcohols. It is an alcohol. The answer is B. Which of these polymers is a protein? Now, a protein has an amide linkage for sure, right? An amide linkage will have carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. So the polymer itself, whatever over here, has to have at least all, uh, what do you call it, four of these molecules. 
let's find that out i think a lacks a lacks uh, nitrogen and oxygen b has all three that's a it's always b right uh doesn't have nitrogen doesn't have nitrogen easy question b